everybody, my name is Morgan. I am the head of marketing for GRIP. So for those of you who don't know, GRIP stands for Generational Relief and Prosthetics, and our club's main focus is finding adaptive technology solutions for kids and puppies with different abilities. So we have three main divisions. One is our 3D printed prosthetics division, which focuses on making prosthetic hands, and they're actually printed on these 3D printers here. Um, our next division is our adaptive gaming division, which focuses on making adaptive controllers as well as toys so that everybody can play video games. And we have a research division, which focuses on new projects in different areas of assistive technology. For example, 3D printing prosthetics for puppies, as well as using myo sensors so that we can have it like flex and not flex. And we will have members from each division speaking to you guys today to show you more of the projects and devices so you'll get a much more in detailed explanation for it. We are really sad that we cannot unfortunately be there for you guys today, um, but we are super excited to offer you a virtual lab tour of our 3D printing lab. So these are some of the 3D printers that actively print our recipient devices and they are usually constructed in this lab as well. And we are really excited to show you around. A lot of the projects and devices that we'll be showing you today will be available for request and we will be giving more details later on how to request any of the devices you're interested in. And we really hope you enjoy this virtual lab tour and we can't wait to see you guys next hand camp, hopefully in person if the situation improves. Enjoy the tour guys. Hi guys, Katie here in the GRIP lab, going to continue on our lab tour. So I'm one of the project managers for the research division, and I will be going through a brief overview of some of our current research projects. So the focus of the research division is to implement new technology into our device designs. One of the things that we're really excited about right now is our myosensors. We have three different myosensor projects. So a myosensor senses electrical activity in your muscles. So when you flex, it performs a function. We have a grasping hand, a Spider-Man shooter that shoots silly string, and Wolverine claws that push out and retract claws when you flex. We also like to get in touch with our artsier side. We have two different projects that deal with musical instruments, um, a trumpet project that presses down the valves of a trumpet, and a guitar project that uses solenoids, a solenoid foot pedal, uh, to hold down guitar frets. We also like to experiment with different recipients. We have our very own prosthetics team. Currently, we are designing a lower limb prosthetic for Jordy over here. Gotta love him, super cute. We wish we could be with you today, but we're hoping that this has gotten you a little bit excited about our different research projects, the new ones that will be coming this year, and the ones that we will hopefully be able to present to you later on. Have a great day. Hi, my name's Brooke Towns, and I'm one of the project managers in the assistive device division of GRIP. In my division of GRIP, we focus both on assistive devices and on hands. So I'm gonna show you some examples of both of those today. Our first example of a hand is this pink one that uses wrist action to bend the fingers and pick things up. Now we also have the same hand in blue to show that all of our devices are customizable to the recipient in both size and color. And additionally, we can also paint them with whatever design you want on it. This hand was painted with a gator on it, because go gators. And then we can also customize assistive devices, like this guitar pick holder allows the recipient to play the guitar without needing to hold the pick, and it's customized with the Beatles. We also can do a drumstick attachment and many other things. I look forward to hearing from you soon. That's all for my section. Hey, my name is Omar. I'm the Adaptive Game Project Manager here at GRIP, and I'm here to show you a couple of the devices we make. So first off, we have our Adaptive Game Boy device, which we have an emulator running inside with dozens of classic games, so you can play whatever you want. You just have to ask for us to put it on there. And that's designed by our SolidWorks team, which helps make a lot of the 3D printed parts we make. They also help print this, which is a Joy-Con holder to play with one hand on the Switch. They also design a lot of button switches for us, which are these. So basically, this one's made to look like a little spider, but inside there's a keyboard switch, 
and when you press it it activates sometimes our toys which we also make or the xbox adaptive controller so we can make plenty of different versions of switches and when you press them this one's a foot pedal it activates the toy and we make several different types of toys as well we have stuffed ones we have bubble blowers we have those we have cars like it's very diverse and then we also have our controllers here we have a one-handed gamecube these are made for right hand only but here we have the buttons to be used with here you can use all the buttons in the back front top back and on the left side where the joystick is usually used you have it on the bottom mounted inverted so you can press it against the surface and move however you wish that's my favorite and then we also have the ps4 adapted this one's made for right-handed so here you have these four buttons on the back which align to this d-pad on the left side right so we have these, so you can press them without having to use your left hand at all. And this is the L3 button, which is clicking this joystick in. This joystick is moved by pressing against the body, and this extender helps press L2 and this R2 and R1. We're also working on several like R&D projects. So for instance, we have a PS4 controller that looks like a flight stick. So I don't have it on me, but I do have a flight stick to, for instance, to reference what it would look like. So this would move the camera, and up here there'd be a, a joystick to move movement, or the vice versa. But yeah, we make plenty of different types of devices, and we're always open to new ideas and requests on what we can make for you. Have a great ham cam. Hello, I'm Bryce Chapman, the current vice president of GRIP, and I would like to show you how you can order a device and contact us if you have any questions. To start, we're going to head over to the GRIP website. You can either use the URL found at the top of the screen or use grip.bme.ufl.edu. Next, you're going to want to head over to the Projects tab. This is where we store information about our current devices and how to request a device. GRIP has three technical divisions, Research, Hands-in Assistive Devices, and Adaptive Gaming. You're going to start with the Hands-in Assistive Devices tab. This is the first division within GRIP, created with the purpose of providing hands-in assistive devices to kids in local North Central Florida and now around the world. Here, you can find a description about the division and how you can request a device. We'll get into that last part later. Next is the adaptive video game controllers. Part of the adaptive gaming division, this group of teams adapts custom video game controllers to suit what you would like, such as creating a one-handed Game Boy and moving the D-pad buttons on a PS4 to the bottom of the right side, opposite of the normal side. Again, here's a small description about these projects with how to request a device at the bottom. The Adaptive Toys team is also a part of the Adaptive Gaming Division and is responsible for rewiring toys so they can be used by anyone. This team uses the same email for requests as the Adaptive Video Game Controllers team. Lastly, the Research Division consists of several different teams that work on furthering our knowledge on adaptive devices and 3D printing. Here, you can see a diverse set of projects. We provide a description on the many different projects we are working on. Next, we're going to talk about the device catalog. The device catalog is an extensive web page with all of the standard devices that we can make. Here, you can go through each of the different projects, which are categorized as controller projects and hands projects. And you can use this to request one from us. To request a device, you can head on over to the Request a Device tab. And depending on what you would like, click on the appropriate tab. If you would like a hand or assistive device, the box will take you to a Qualtrics form. This form will walk you through the appropriate steps to uh, request a device. For the adaptive gaming, uh, division. This will take you to a separate web page with a link to our email. Here, you can describe what you would like us to modify along with what adaptions you would like and what we what you would like for us to consider when designing. We also have a Thingiverse account now. This is where you can view some of our 3D prints and their CAD files. 
So if you have a 3D printer at home, you can use this to download the appropriate files and make it yourself at home. Or if you would like to, you can request it of us to print it and we can mail it out to you. We are currently working on expanding our catalog to encompass all of our uh, 3D printed devices. If you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can either reach, us, reach out to us at the appropriate emails that can be found under the Contact Us tab in the About section, or you can message us on our Facebook, which is facebook.com slash gripuf. If you also have an idea for a new device that we are currently not working on, you can reach out to us using the previously mentioned methods. We also have a Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube that can be found at the bottom of our screen. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Sawinski, the outgoing president of GRIP. Now that you've heard a little bit about the devices we make, I'll show you how we make them. Right here, we have a 3D printer. This is a Fusion. It can print bigger pieces. We often use it for our arm pieces, hands, stuff like that. And here's our Replicator 2. We have several of them. These can be used to print smaller pieces like buttons, switches, that sort of thing. So the basics of how a 3D printer works. These things have three motors, one that controls the up and down motion located back there, and then two that control the side to side motion and forward backward motion here. So we have three degrees of freedom. This build plate lowers and raises, and this extruder head can move wherever it needs to print a part. These parts are printed from the bottom up, so starting with the very base layer, and they're built piece by piece until the build is finished. Right here we have the start of some face shields that we were building. And the way these work is this plastic, polylactic acid, which is a plant-based plastic and completely biodegradable, is shoved through a tube here, melted in a heat block, and then sent out this tiny little extruder head right here. As it does that, millimeter by millimeter, it builds apart. So after about, I don't know, 20 to 14 to 20 hours, we can have an entire hand built. Or even more quickly, we can have dozens of buttons printed out in whatever shape we want. Now the great thing about 3D printing is what we do is entirely customizable. So we can create a part on the computer. For instance, we got the design of this hand off of one of, our great, one of the sites online that supplies designs, and we're able to customize that however we want and print it in whatever size we want. Also, PLA is very paintable. So as you can see, our art team did a fantastic job making this one camo. Because of this customizability, just let us know of any needs you have, whatever hobbies you have, and we can see if we can make a device that can help you out. Uh, that's all from me. Hi, so thank you so much for coming to our virtual lab tour. We would highly encourage you to stay in touch with us. Feel free to follow us on any of our social media accounts to see what we're up to and to see if maybe there's any new devices that you like. We have also included our website so that you guys can access all of those recipient pages and stuff like that that we showed you to request different devices. And you can kind of see a lot of the other different aspects of what we do. Thank you all for coming to our virtual lab tour and we hope you have a wonderful rest of your hand camp. Thank you.